There's um, a lot of supplies lying around. Um, we've got some of the basics I'll go through. Hot glue guns, low temperature for you guys because these things will burn your fingers right off. Um, yeah. We've been trying to work on work appropriate when live appropriate expletives yeah. like holy snowflake. Yeah, um, but there's a good chance that I'm going to burn myself with this, and, and no is, promises. You're not going to swear. <laughs> okay, I'll try okay, my best. I'll red star you so fast. <laughs> um, so if you don't want a hot glue, there's um, Fabri-Tac, which is this was like four dollars at a craft store. Yeah. It stinks like it's you wouldn't really believe. Really stinky. But boy, it that's what we use for this, and it's not going anywhere. So yeah, Fabri-Tac. It's, it's strong stuff. Sets up really quick. It works with leather and all sorts of different types of textiles too. Yeah. Um, there's a bunch of safety pins. You'll need these. Um, there is needle and thread back there. Um, I like to use nylon thread because it's clear and super strong. You can hang all sorts of ornaments and really, oh, as I break it. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a good start here. Yeah. Um, you can hang but in things theory, like this, strong. Celeste? What's that? You can hang actual moose. Yeah, Susan, oh, yeah. Susan's Thanks. sweater that I made is, is used with nylon. That, that moose is, is really heavy. There's a battery in it. So um, nylon thread is the way to go. A um, couple pins just to tack things in place before you pin it, and some scissors. Those are pretty much the basic things you'll need to, to get going here. Um, you might get clever a couple times. I use gaff tape, and I'm, there's about five ways to do everything that I'm going to show you, but we're going to kind of do the quick and easy way just because I do want everyone to be able to do this. I know everyone's not a sewer, so occasionally I might pull out gaff tape, occasionally I might sew, but really just needs to stick, and it doesn't need to last long. It just needs yeah. to look good for Lots a night. Lots of hot glue. Lots it's of mostly hot glue. hot glue. It's mostly hot glue. Yeah. The thing is, you can't wash them really anyway. Um, so just glue, tack, um, tape away. Um, where to find all of this stuff? <laughs> mostly craft stores. You can check out your ads. Craft stores are great, yeah. Um, um, Craft, um, we went to Joanne Fabrics, to Goodwills, consignment shops. We pulled a bunch of stuff from Mom's old Christmas decoration box. Mm -hmm. um, whatever you can find, wash it first, please. <laughs> Once yeah. all of this is on it, it cannot go through the washing machine. So wash it first. Um, as I learned, um, red and white make pink. So yeah. I <laughs> as we'll see with our first sweater. As you will see with the first sweater. It was meant to be white, but it's more yeah. of a, an off. It's, it's nice, though. It's a nice shade of peach now. So um, well into my 20s, and I'm still learning how to do laundry. Um, so when we're, at the, when we're at the Goodwill, what we're looking the for. stores and things, yeah. Um, the things you want to look for are j beyond the decoration section. Like they have, um, we use things like this that are obvious candidates, this thing here, oh, that. obvious candidates for a sweater, um, decorations, um, bows, all of those are obvious, but move beyond that into like the towel section, the fabric and textile section. Um, yeah. where there was once a great one that was made out of a toilet seat cover. <laughs> you know what I mean? So again, wash first, it's, but it was hideous. It was, it was glorious. So yeah, lots of stuffed animals. Stuffed animal section is usually good. A lot of times they don't pull them out for the holiday sections. So. Uh, I found a lot of things in the stuffed animal section. Actually, I think the um, uh, the Santa Claus the, that's on your sweater there is the that, that came out of stuffed animal section, not the holiday. Area, yeah. So. so you might be disappointed if you go to the decoration section. That stuff gets picked over pretty quickly. But yeah. move on to think like this is found in the um, this is a uh, place setting. That's what we made these out of. There's a set of three of them. The place setting. We just cut it out, mm -hmm. glued it. I mean, it literally took. Maybe 10 minutes. 10 if, minutes, 15 if. minutes, yeah. I'm going to make these little bad boys. So it's really, really easy. Um, so get creative. Towels, um, other sorts of fabrics, curtains. That's a good one, too. Mm -hmm. um, let's move on to the first sweater. So there's a couple of different styles that you can do. You guys, you're being way too quiet. You guys should be making stuff now. Yeah. <laughs> How about it? So we're going to show you how to make a couple different types. Um, we're going to get into like LED lights, how to integrate those. Um, again, how to sew, how to glue, how to tape different things on. Um, I'm going to show you how to make an iPad Christmas sweater, how to integrate animatronics. Um, but the easiest, and I think the funnest, that I have the most hope for, I'm hoping this will be my ugly Christmas sweater that I wear to my party, is making a scene. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of, what, um, kind of what I did with the advent calendar going on there. But it's just a matter of going and finding stuff and just literally tacking it on. It's really easy, it's really effective, and you can make some really ugly stuff. So Michael and I are kind of going to make um, the same style at the same time. I'm going to, I got this uh, stocking here and a bunch of toys. 
that I'm just going to have kind of exploding out of the stocking. So this is a dog toy that I got. This, you can get, they have these hanging, or these bags of decorations. They're like, what is this? $1.99. <laughs> and you get all these just, what is this, a crawfish? <laughs> crawfish, we got a train. Mm -hmm. We got, for the cat lover, some cats, a roller skate, all sorts oh. of good stuff. I, I yes, have a question from the internet. Yeah. Bring it. Okay, this question is actually for <laughs> Arlene. <laughs> and the question is, Arlene, will you be using calico cat fur for your sweater? And that question is from, from Natalie. From oh. Natalie in New York. Oh, Natalie Lucini. Thank you, Natalie. No, I'm not. It, the color scheme did not match my Hanukkah color scheme. But I'm hoping to make another sweater incorporating okay. cats. All right, all right. If you don't know, uh, Arlene here has about 1,000 cats. And she will be moving them from mm -hmm. her right current there. home in LA up here to Seattle. All right, thank you. Thank you for that interlude. Thanks so, for the question. So I'm making my exploding stocking. Why don't you tell them what I, you're making? Yeah, I have a little more of an Arctic scene. Uh, we found these, these which are, I think are... Uh, they're bath mitts, bath I think? Bath mitts, yeah, little penguins. Mm -hmm. So I um, saw this and just kind of got the idea, and uh, these were $3 a piece. And just kind of, again, it's building a scene. Um, I've found a little Santa hat for one of them, and these pom-poms are great. Um, wonderful tacky addition mm -hmm. to any sweater uh, so you know the basics are just you know just start gluing it on um, it's not it's not terribly complicated Th these scenes are just kind of the easiest thing to do and then you uh, um, you just kind of pick the tackiest stuff you can find and go at it yeah and what I'm gonna do here is I'm kind of staging it first to make sure that I have room for all the tackiness that I want to cram on here these are just paper cutouts Again, they probably won't last after a night of eggnog, but um, that's okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm just kind of, kind of placing everything. I want it to look like Christmas is literally just exploding out of this thing. Um, and some of these are really heavy. This uh, is like ceramic. So you want to make sure when you're, when you're selecting your sweater that it's not a loose knit, or depending on what you're doing, if it's a really heavy sweater, it's going to sag, right? So um, it might be a... <laughs> Thank you, Susan. It might be, um, <laughs> look at the, the type of fabric in it. You might want a, a tighter knit if you're working with heavier material so it doesn't pull. But again, the glory, the glory of Christmas sweaters is that if, it, if you see the glue, if it is sagging, it's all the more tacky. Yeah, it doesn't you really. You really can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think that that I one that I, I made the first year with, uh, with the, uh, the tree on the front of it, I, pretty much the whole night it was just hanging out in front yes, of me. Yes, it was. That's okay. It's okay. No <laughs> one judged you for that. So a question from the internet? Yeah. yeah. This question is from Rick Z, who says, I'm new to glue guns. Do you prefer to use a prime 35 or 50 millimeter nozzle, or should I go with something variable? The prime Great 35... <laughs> wow. The prime 35, 50 nozzle is good. It's a little more heavy duty. If you want um, like more detail stuff, you want to go definitely with the 12. Um, as you can see here, I'll get back to your question, but I am just not, there's no rhyme or reason here. I'm just throwing it on there. Um, but yeah, for heavy duty stuff like this, the 35 is going to suit you really well. Um, for smaller detail work, you're going to want something a little smaller. Um, and I just burnt myself. First, first one of the day. There it is. Mm. You need some you ice? Snowflakes. Cold you water? The TR550? Yeah, this is the TR550. I'm working with the, the Sure Bonder. I, I have another, <laughs> is there a gear list for this Total. class? Yeah, I have another question from Rigsy, um, who asks, will they be gluing with the guns tethered so we can see the flow? <laughs> <laughs> there should, oh, the overhead camera is here. That's uh, <laughs> such a smart Alex you are, aren't you? <laughs> just Rig, just Rig. <laughs> so, as you can see, I think I've done this a little bit high. Eh. It'll work. But again, again, the glory of glue guns, you can just rip it off and cover whatever glue is sticking um, with more tacky pom -poms. stuff. Pom-poms, those were the pom-poms. With the pots where I enter the pom-poms. You are yeah. much better at sitting than I am. They've told me to stay seated and I just can't. I just can't get <laughs> over <laughs> Rick's seat. Okay, Rick, Rick just, he's cracking me up. Okay, he just said, he 
just said, oh, this is, Celeste is using spray and pray technique. Is that recommended for beginners? <laughs> <laughs> It's spray and pray. I mean, spray and pray doesn't win contests. Uh, you can't spray and pray and win contests. Um, <laughs> it will be tacky. Good but, uh, answer, Celeste. Do you think that I spray and prayed that new sweater? No. That was done with precision and love yeah. and care. Well, and a lot of years of experience. And a lot of years of experience. Trial and a lot of air. nylon thread. So, Pract right, I mean, that's actually. Practice, practice, practice. We're, we're, mo we're moving pretty quick here just to kind of. Yeah, so you can. You know, make it happen. We're probably going to burn ourselves, and if you move a little slower, you. You know, you might not. Yes. So we n normally, when I'm making it myself at, at home and not with um, a lot of people watching, um, I probably wouldn't be glue gunning. I'd probably be sewing it. It's going to be a lot more secure. Um, but I know that <laughs> not everyone's a sewer. Um, and glue is, is just so easy. And again, it only needs to last for a night. It doesn't need to look fantastic. Yeah. If yeah. it falls off, it's OK. You can glue it again for next year. Yeah. Um, just, you know, keep a glue gun in your bag, and you can glue it in the bathroom. And you know, <laughs> put it back together as it falls off. That'd be quite a scene, going to the bathroom, like, I'll be right back. Excuse me, I need to fix my sweater. <laughs> yeah. But yes, um, if you're ready to take your tacky to the next level, then I'd say move on to the nylon. But uh, if you're just trying to get her done, oh man, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> then uh, I think that's trademark. Hot glue, that probably is trademark. <laughs> can't say that anymore. Man. Another question from the lounge. Adrian Farr would like to know, where about are you focusing your glue gun? <laughs> I'm not focus, sure. it, focus it on your face. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. So yeah, I don't know how to answer um, that. Again, when you're doing detailed stuff, like here, right here, we got the little wheels of the roller blade. I'll get right up in there. I don't know if you can see. But as you saw when I was putting the stocking on, you can be five feet away. It's like a, if you get really good at it, you can be like gluing from up here, right? <laughs> How's everyone in the audience doing? <laughs> can we check in? Can we check in with you the guys? You guys are adorable. I hear rustling over there. Just establishing my base first before I work up to the details. Is that is that a recommended strategy or? Um, or am I doing this wrong? Absolutely, Russ. You um, are clearly know what you're doing. You're on your you're on your way to success. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut this in half. Um, right. Put the base on first, um, like I did with the stocking, and you can stage the ornaments around it, and then just start gluing the crap out of them. Um, so this squeaky toy was just a little bit too much bulk for me, so I am cutting it. Do you want another half of a Christmas tree? Oh yeah, that's great. And then great. look at that. That'll that. Ah, look at that. That'll rest nicely right there. And this is where you separate the amateurs from the pros. Oh, the thin line. Oh, I'm gonna burn myself. <laughs> I, I already have. You're gonna be proud of me. I yeah. didn't scream. Before the show started, I already had hot glue in my hair, and glitter just everywhere. Just in my hair. <laughs> before it started, I thought that was impressive. So, uh, so I, I have a question that kind of piggybacks on Russ's uh, statement and question which is from ACM83. Please tell us where you're joining us from as well when you ask these questions in the Q's tab. Yeah, do they have ugly Christmas sweater parties in like Would, Germany and stuff? I wanna know question. that. Good question. We didn't read off where people were joining us from. Uh, let's see, okay, so the question is, do you and Michael think that the back of the sweater is just as important as the front? Uh, yes. I think the back of the sweater is like a perfect place to surprise people. Okay. You walk in and you have, you know, every, like uh, this, the, um, uh, the Santa Claus sweater having the feet dangling out. People don't notice that at first, but like throughout the party people are really like, oh my god, I didn't see that before. So I think it's a really good spot um, to just, you know, add a little, little something extra. I think Bonus had, points for the surprise. Maybe back. we should yeah. have Aaron stand up so we can see the surprise on the back of Aaron's sweater. Mr. Anderson, can you stand up? That, that camera's live over there. Yeah, turn around so, for the camera. Show your hindquarters. So. This is the spine, and this is the back. <laughs> 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 yeah. So and Kenneth Susan, um, I know that there's something special on your hindquarters as well. I don't know if you want to turn around. Yeah, you got poinsettias on you, wow. and you got stockings on. You don't want to? You're not going to? <laughs> Maybe we can say that, that Nico for later. Okay. Maybe we can say that for later. So this was the kind of finishing touch on Kenneth's. Hung some stockings off of there. Oh, <laughs> great! Um, <laughs> Come on, Susan, let's see it. <laughs> All right, here we are, everyone. Hindquarters. 
I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this, but um, <laughs> you asked the question. You got to be prepared for the repercussions of that. Hind quarters. All right, moving right along, everyone. So it is all that extra stuff that you have. I mean, there's always extra of these and extra ornaments. The back is a great place to put all that. Again, nice little surprise. OK, I have a question. Um, this is from Christine Sudley, who would like to know if you suggest bringing a repair kit to the party. And if so, what should that include? She is taking her party very seriously. I think that's a very, very good seriously. question. Is that, is that mostly for novice sweater makers, the repair <laughs> kit? Well, or? if you did it right, you won't need to repair it. But you can never take into account the drunkards Yeah. and people that pick at your sweater. That advent calendar, people were putting stuff in that all night. But I don't, I don't, I've, I've never, never brought a, a, a re repair kit, to be honest. Have you ever had a malfunction? Uh, in your sweater? Not that I'm not sweater that malfunction. I can think of. Just use a lot of hot glue. I think that's the main thing. Um, don't, I mean, don't yeah, be shy. Just throw some safety pins in your pocket. Safety pins would be good, yeah. Like Michael said, if you really want to be serious, you can just take you a hot can, glue gun. Yeah. <laughs> it's taking a while in that bathroom. Gotta wait for my glue gun to heat up. <laughs> All right. I'm just about done with mine. How are you doing? I'm, I'm pretty close here. It's looking very. I kind of want to fit this crawfish in. But uh, I don't know where. I'm just adding snowballs now. Wow, look at For $1.99, what a bargain. Look at that. Quality. We've got a kangaroo playing soccer. A mouse blowing into a tuba. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and a dog in a convertible. If you guys want these go nuts, I don't think I'm going to use them. So many strings. This, this is going to come back, though. This is going to play in later. Yeah. So here's mine. This is just hot glue. Please don't anything fall. Check that out. How'd that look? Good? Yeah. Oh. And then, and then I, Thank you. I've got the penguins. Nice. Nice. Very nice. So do you... Do Did you anyone time us on that? That was pretty fast. <laughs> That's like about 10, 12 minutes. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Do you pretty title good. these? <sighs> Um, I think that the audience should. Oh, good question. Okay, <laughs> internet, internet. Internet, what do you think? So, should we number these sweaters? So, Celeste's is number sweater one. number one. I think and we can Michael's come up with better names than that, don't you? He said, he said this is the Arctic scene, which I think I'm scarred for life now that now every time I see a sweater that's even remotely Arctic, yeah. I'm going to be saying, well, if you Michael guys have for an Arctic names. scene, <laughs> so, bring it on. Don't you think we should go for Michael, more? No, they're I, I do have a surprise for, gonna, for the Arctic. They're going to give us the, the answer so they can say, sweater number one, here's the name. Oh, I'm you sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, that went over my head. Number two, uh, Arctic. Michael's got a, a little name. addition I've to this. I've got a little addition to the Arctic scene. If This is a little more complicated of a build than just gluing things on. But um, I found a stuffed polar bear, and uh, a stuffed animal polar bear, and are we... Do we have photos of that? Are we oh, going yes. through that? Um, maybe before I show it, we should go through the, the photos. So I, I got this little polar bear. Um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> We didn't uh, want to do it live. Yeah, we didn't want to do this live because it would have been a little, a little creepy. Yeah. Um, so I cut, it up, I, cut it, I cut into it, pulled out the stuffing. I put the stuffing in a, in a bag uh, side. I glued the arms together. Um, so that it just kind of formed a little crevice inside of it. And then, um, is that, that's the last photo, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so the, the head got glued back on. And then, um, so here's the, here's the completed piece. Actually, there's one last thing. This, this little flap here um, gets glued on here. But it's, uh, it's basically, it. so it's this. And so along with that sweater, you're going to have to imagine this, is that, uh, So, <laughs> just a little, little He's something extra. Over. <laughs> so you said you could, you actually thought about it later. You could put a hat. Yeah, it I, I kind of thought about it later, and it's part of the reason I didn't glue it up is because uh, I think you could take like a baseball cap, a white baseball cap, and glue it in here and have the the bill actually sit inside of the belly or inside of the the trunk. And, uh, and then just, just glue that in, and so it'll be a little bit more stable on your head. Because mm. this has a tendency to kind of flop down, but I gave him angry eyebrows. The and claws. And claws. This was With foam, so right? th Yeah, I just took those, uh, those really cheap foam brushes you can get at the hardware store and, uh, and, and cut off bits of them and just glued them on. 
so he's a little bit more and ferocious. Let's talk about the Santa hat, because I didn't even know that you made that. I thought that was really Oh, cool. yeah, and I, did, I didn't have a Santa hat, so I made this. Um, when I go to the, the thrift store, I have a tendency to just buy a whole bunch of like red, uh, white, and green sweatshirts and, and t-shirts and things like that, so that I just have the, it's just great fabric mm. to use. And, uh, and so I, I uh, you basically cut like a semicircle and then a, um, a triangle. Mm. Uh, so like a triangle with a rounded end. And then you just glue the two ends together and you've got a Christmas hat. It's, it's really Bam. quick. Instant Christmas. <laughs> wow. I, I added a little faux fur to the top. Pretty good. So guys, the questions are just rolling in now. Oh yeah. Just Go, pouring in. Away, They're jingling away. in. Um, Go people, are take, people are taking this extremely serious, as you can are see. They, are the they face. serious questions or are they? They're actual serious questions, and you can see by the look on everyone's face here how serious everyone is. Yeah, it's not really quiet. This is awesome. It's serious business. I okay. see an entire tree going onto a sweater, and I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's great. That's how you do it, Aaron. Nice. All right, we have a question here from Recipe Taster, one of our regulars here in the lounge. Hi, Recipe Taster. Good to see you. Um, who would like to know, can we use edibles on our sweater? Ooh. I'm Ooh. thinking of a cupcake tree, and it could lead, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read what else recipe I wrote. I encourage it. Um, I think doing something like what Aaron is doing here, which you can't see, but he's basically putting a fake tree onto the sweater and hanging, right, like candy, um, candy necklaces on it, kind of like a popcorn strand. Um, and other, just like all those cheap, crappy candies that you get at the store, just put a, you can stick a, um, uh, um, a paper clip in them and hang them off your tree and people can be eating them off all night. your body off your <laughs> don't make it weird michael i'm sorry it's I'm not sorry. like that <laughs> pg off all your right. sweater off your sweater <laughs> off your sweater do you have more questions or should i move on well oh we have so many questions oh, okay but i do want to <laughs> just point out that menagerie has said as our own um jen cl jen has said in the audience that i'm sorry but penguins are antarctic I know, Not yeah, Arctic. but Coca-Cola, oh, sorry. You can say it, you can say it. Can say it. We just can't show it. You, you know, they it. put them together all the time. It is true, the polar bear is north and the penguins are south. Michael, in his last art show, actually made a life-size polar bear out of paper mache. Yeah, seven, so, seven foot tall polar wow. bear out of, um, yeah. Wow. Sitting in a paper. whale. It's in a whale carcass. Wow. Paper mache. Did you yeah. turn that into a pinata yet? No. It looks a lot like a pinata, though. It does. Though. I want to break um, that thing open. Yeah. <laughs> you let me know when you're ready. I'll come over. OK. OK. Grab a couple bats. Yep. All right, Celeste. So I've got a, maybe one more question yeah, before sure, you move ahead. on to the go next ahead. sweater. And perhaps you can demonstrate this as you're going about creating the next sweater. Mm -hmm. It's a great one from Simti, who says, are there any composition rules when placing objects on the sweater? Depe totally depends on what like you're doing. Like, is there a for. rule of thirds? The general rule. Um, the rule of thirds doesn't. <laughs> if you're doing a centerpiece, right, like this. If you're doing a centerpiece, obviously you want front and center, right? Um, if you're doing a scene, like yeah, what Michael did. The, the penguins. That is a little bit more. Not rule of thirds, but you don't want them all crammed in. You want you want as much Christmas across the chest as you can possibly cram in. So, um, when I do a centerpiece, like. Uh, like Susan's there, I do front and center, and then just do <laughs> do the details on the wrist and the neck. Um, you'll see some later. I did the, my iPad Christmas sweater. It's right in the middle, and then I did some decorations off the side, just so just to give it a little bit more Christmas. Uh, but yeah, if you're doing a scene, I think the yeah. rule of thirds is good. Oh, hey, there's the pink. Yeah, there's the pink. This is the one that you probably can't see on camera, but it did turn pretty. Pretty pink, but uh. So that's before we get too involved. I, I have like a, a big picture question. I like to ask the the bigger yeah. picture picture question. So, when people are seeing these sweaters, what is the emotional reaction uh. that you're that you're looking for? Is this really like that's ugly, or is it that that's hilarious? I want them to weep. Really, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get. It's so ugly they weep. Yeah. Um. They're or crying just, from just laughing. Just so beautifully ugly that they mm. weep. I mean, there's, there's so many different types, right? Like, I think, um, you know, Michael's with the <laughs> Santa Claus busting through his stomach is hilarious. It's awesome. <laughs> it depends on what you want. Yeah. I think the one you have, I actually have people tell me I look really cute in that. You do too. It's like, it's white with the green. It's kind of cute. Tell me if Susan Roderick doesn't look cute right now. She totally does. Um, Whereas, you know, the, the one that Ken is wearing is just full on tacky. What do you guys think? Is this cute? 
and practical. You could wear that 24 days, and you will always yeah. be able to tell people how many keys, days until Christmas. In it, you know. 24 days in December. Yeah. 24 pockets right there. Yeah. Right. All right. Along. <laughs> Which, by the way, the, the advent calendar was a great, well, that, that's what Kenna is wearing. It is an advent calendar. And people throughout the night, by the end of the night, that thing was full of stuff. Carrots. Yeah. What kind of stuff? Yeah, people just put bottle stuff in it. Bottle caps, yeah. candies, lights, ornaments. Just people were just shoving things in there. Yeah. And don't even talk about the stockings in the back. I couldn't see what they were putting back there. But ah. it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a conversation piece. See if there's anything piece. in there right now. It's a conversation now. piece. There might be. There might be. No. Not for now.